Hi guys. Um, so I am setting up the software to do Facebook Lives, but for now um, I'm just going to record a video and then post it through another YouTube and then share it to Facebook because it's backwards and um, I want to stick with the Thursday thing. So um, I'm working from home today. Hope you guys like my art. Um, anyway, this is strange. Okay. Um, so we're going to talk about desk posture this week. So a lot of the time when we're working from home and our computers, our shoulders kind of slouch forward, our head goes forward, and that's really not great over an extended amount of time. Um, I was looking at resources on WebEx that we use at the office to send home homework, and um, I have a graphic that I'll probably post within the next week or so that's how heavy your head actually is on your neck depending on how far your head protrudes from your shoulders and if your head's over like a 60 degree angle it's like webex says it's 60 pounds heavier because you're hunching forward which is not great so um the moves that we do to counteract this are those chin tucks our favorite like neck exercise that I talk about, where you're pulling your head back in space, keeping your head level, making the double chin and keeping your shoulders back, kind of training the deep neck flexors in the front of your neck to stay strong and support your head up. Um, chin tucks, the WebEx calls it Brugger's exercise. For us, it's like W's or L's kind of. Um, and those are the ones where your shoulders stay back and down like part of the IYTWLs and your shoulders retract and depress so your shoulders come back and down um, and then releasing them or for a hold kind of like we do for the wall sets where you keep your shoulders back and down and hold here you can have your arms here or here as long as your shoulders stay back and down and you feel that engagement between your shoulder blades and then other than that, honestly, um, taking walks, like every half hour that you're sitting at your desk engaged in that posture, just get up, like take a lap around the house um, or the basement, do you know, a flight of stairs and then come back and reset. A lot of the time that awareness will keep you upright more. So you can also set up like a little pillow underneath your low back so it kind of reminds you to like sit up straight and tall keeping your core engaged and all the muscles in your body supporting you up um other than that do your neck stretches we all know our four way over the side over the other side and michael jackson those ones are awesome or the doorway stretch um so i have my my little curtain here not a full-on wall that I'm going to expose because I'm working from home, so it's going to be a little weird to finagle, but hold on. So, we're like this. Cool. Okay, sweet. You're using the doorway. Elbows at shoulder height. It doesn't look like it because the angle's weird. And then you're pressing this shoulder forward. This shoulder comes back. Okay, so you're feeling that nice stretch all the way through the front of your shoulder. And then switch sides. You'll be standing. So that'll be good. Um, as always, 30 seconds, three times each. Or if you're doing a hold, aim for 45 seconds to a minute. Three times. Because that's how we do. All right, guys. I hope you have a great Thursday. Um, and I'll see you soon. If you have any questions, comments, requests for um, future videos or tutorials or whatever post them let me know that's what the page is here for and that's what um, I'm trying to accomplish so have a great day bye guys